have been told that look, uh, fairness uh, doesn't really matter because uh, the, you know when some people get stinking rich uh, somehow that will trickle down and everyone will be happy and you know, I mean the metaphor was the ri uh, rising water lifts all boats. But when you look at what happened in the last, uh, especially two, three decades, what has happened is uh, that, that in order to make you know, a tiny group of people at the top, 0.1%, 1%, maximum 10%, to make those people richer, everyone else has been subject to very stressful situation. I mean, now you don't have uh, job security anymore. I mean, welfare states are uh, being cut back. I mean, all the things that uh, the Western world uh, has uh, built in the last century in order to make capitalism more humane and you know, provide that uh, better uh, life for everyone and so on, it uh, has been scaled down. And, you know, I mean, <laughs> To start with, uh, we'll have to go back to the principles that uh, gave us the welfare state. I mean, well, uh, what is uh, it uh, to live in the same society? I mean, how do you share it out? I mean, uh, what is uh, the boundary between individual responsibility and uh, social constraints? Yeah? And unless uh, we uh, have some kind of uh, political consensus on this uh, fairness question, I think it will be very difficult to redesign the system because if uh, some people say, look, I mean, the, you know, the system has to go on as it is and there's nothing wrong with it, then you know, that's the end of the discussion. Eh?